It began 128 years ago. An awareness raised through humanity, awakening minds to new possibilities and unlimited potential. An untapped power was emerging from what many believed to be a worthless and unlikely source. An unimposing advertisement appears in the newspaper, beckoning young women and girls, black young women and girls, to do what none other had asked of them, to learn. Many thought it a lost cause. Who could ever teach blacks? They would never learn, far less women. But unbeknownst by society, this was a turning point, not only in the lives of those students, but also in the world. For over the coming years, they would not only be mentored by their first teachers, Sophia B. Packard and Harry D. Giles, but also guided by greats such as Lucy Hale Tapley, Florence Matilda Reed, Janetta B. Cole, and Beverly Daniel Tatum. Supported by philanthropists such as Bill and Camille Cosby, and John D. Rockefeller. Through the continuous visions of these leaders, Spelman has since produced women of excellence who have broken boundaries and exceeded expectations, not only in this country, but across the world. Spelman has left her indelible mark across nations, and she is determined to continue doing so. Her purpose? to birth women who ignite the world with a passion for service back with solid academia. Year by year, she asks the world visionaries who are about changing the world and creating a better humanity. For this mission, she calls many, but chooses few. Today, as you embark on a new world of possibilities for your future, be ever so mindful of the immense moral power black women possess and have sought to wield throughout their history at Spelman College and beyond. The same power that prompted Anna Julia Cooper in 1892 to tell a group of black clergymen only the black woman can say when and where I enter. In the quiet, undisputed dignity of my womanhood, without violence and without suing or special patronage, then and there, the whole race enters with me. My sisters from all over the African diaspora, the East Coast, the West Coast, the North, the South, the Congo, the Caribbean, the Barrio, the Hood, the suburbs, and every place in between. Today is the day that your life will change forever. You have chosen a place that will set you apart and place you on a trajectory that will enable you to become everything you ever imagined for yourself and everything society said you couldn't become. Welcome to Spelman College, a choice to change the world. At a time when the relevance and effectiveness of historically black colleges have been questioned by the national press, 
Spelman College is proving that these institutions play a key role in providing academic excellence for students of color. If you didn't know, Spelman College is the number one historically black college ranked by U.S. News and World Report. For 100, for 128 years, women of color have journeyed here in search of an academic community that nurtures the mind, the body, and the spirit. But what they have discovered is a unique and special place. It's a woman's place where they are encouraged to think critically, motivated to lead, and empowered to change the world. Committed to the advancement of women, Spelman's enduring mission is as compelling today as it was at the time of its founding. Its legacy of academic excellence has produced generations of women whose outstanding accomplishments as pioneers and crusaders are legendary. They played significant roles as community builders. They saw injustice in the world and they dared to overcome it. They pursued careers in a variety of professional arenas and they rendered service to others. As Spelman, we are fortunate and blessed to have internationally renowned faculty and visiting scholars, including the Dr. Christine King Ferris, the sister of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Pearl Clegg, international playwright and author. Dr. Nawal El Sadawi, Egyptian feminist, activist, physician, and author. Dr. Lisa Farrington, PhD, historian, curator, educator, and author. And Dr. Beverly Guy Sheftal, one of the country's most renowned black female intellectuals of our time. Need I go on? J.G. Holland once said, God, give us women. A time like this demands for strong minds, great hearts, true faith, and ready hands. Women who possess opinions and a will. Women who have honor. Women who will not lie. And women who can stand before a demagogue and damn his treacherous flatteries without winking. Tall women, sun-crowned, who can live above the fog, in public duty and private thinking. My Spelman sisters, this is a place of intellectual free thinking, enterprising women who are not here to become America's next top model, but America's next top visionary, scholar, academician, and <laughs> innovator. And remember this, a woman's place is any place she envisions it to be. I appreciate your smile. I appreciate your smile. Welcome to Spellman. Spellman. And I'm what you take to carry in birth. A child, thank you. And the way you play dumb, even when we live in real fast. Parent mama, you still hold it down somehow. Thank you, mama. Make them somehow. I give thanks for the gift of being a woman. I celebrate the special characteristics that I have been given. The gift of connectedness, the gift of empathy, the gift of compassion, the gift of nurturing, the gift of insight, the gifts of flexibility and multiplicity. All fundamental ingredients to be a leader. A Spelman woman's gift is captured by the college's fourth president, Florence Matilda Reed, who eloquently stated that Spelman College must be the spirit that motivates the education of black women to go forth from college and share to the full with her fellows all that which she has gained. It is not enough that a woman shall become a 
self-contained, economically independent, and completely rounded individual. Neither is it sufficient that she have developed a taste for the finer things in life and acquired skills in the arts. If the college has succeeded in its purpose, she will be not only willing, but eager to share her gifts and her newly acquired skills to better the lives of all those within the reach of her influence. And it is by that strange paradox, which is the profoundest truth yet discovered or revealed, that by her own life, she will reach her richest fulfillment. At Spelman College, we value the ideals of ethical and moral leadership, and we seek to develop Spelman women who exhibit honorable characteristic and principal leadership potential. In short, we view leadership as a privilege and not a right. And when the great saints of human history and destiny go marching in, Spelman women, ordinary women with great ideas who chose to change the world, they too will be in that number. Alma Ferguson Crockett, class of 1929, wrote in her high school yearbook, I owe the world a woman, and I shall earnestly seek to pay my debt. Welcome to Spelman. <laughs> My life is a tightrope, and what I must always ask myself is what happened to the colored girl, the muses of song, poetry, and art do not woo or exalt her. She's inspired no novels, those who write seldomly think of this dark-skinned girl who is persistently breaking through the petty tyrannies of caste into light of recognition. As I walk the tightrope of life, I realize how can I be the Sarah Patton Boyle of my time fighting for women's rights, the Emory sisters spreading the gospel, or Florence Lee Tamoy who shared China's pain, or how can I be Hillary Clinton? She has 18 million fractures on the glass ceiling of politics. Or how can I be Michelle Obama, the first African-American first lady? And there are countless other women who've changed history, setting right old wrongs, believing, praying, and teaching through the midst of pain. Here at Spelman, we value balance and the principle of self-care. We must remember that we are the stepping stones for the birth of the 12 tribes. We are the shepherdesses for leading and healing this world. At Spelman, we are committed to attending to one's physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual needs through consistent activities and behaviors that enable renewal and growth. So as you walk, this labyrinth of Spellman. Remember the frustrating turns in women's lives and feel empowered knowing you are one of the few to be called to this place we call Spellman. And as I walked the tightrope of life and found my balance, I realized I am the hand that rocks the cradle, the eye that beholds hope. I have the heart that bursts in reconciliation. I am the flower of justice. I am a beautifully and wondrously made Spelman woman. And like you young ladies in this room, I can have it all. Welcome to Spelman. <laughs> 